Hi, I have a quick Xcode tip for you. So when you're working with Xcode and say iOS and you want to make a universal type application, um, I've done a lot of teaching on location of Swift and a lot of people don't really gravitate to making a universal type layout because it's not the same size as say an iPhone. So they want to design for an iPhone and then design one for an iPad instead of making a universal type application because they can't pre-see it when they're in Xcode. But actually you can and that's what tip I want to show you. So we'll just get rid of these sidebars and I've already dragged a label, a field, and a button just to put it on um, this space. If you go up here to the assistant editor, these two little circles, usually you get a code editor thing here but if you go right here where it says automatic and you can see that that brings up a little menu you can go to what's called preview and what you see here is you get a iPhone 4 inch but you can actually get any size you like down here you can go iPhone 3.5 inch 4 inch 4 7 5 5 and iPad and obviously different versions of Xcode greater than this one probably will have even more so you can bring in multiple ones and you can pre-visualize what it's going to look like uh, by dragging the stuff around here on our main view. But it gets even better than that. Um, and if you just select it and you see how it goes blue and you click that and it, you can delete it. But let's, um, let's bring one back up here. Let's bring, say, the 5.5 uh, 5 inch. Uh, or... Actually, which is probably the more popular one is probably 4.7. When you're laying out your layout, for the most part, you're going to be laying your layout with um, the auto layout. So let's say if we put something in the label like my text area. And let's say we just kind of center that. And as you see, as we drag it around, now it's not really centered over here, but it's centered in our view. And say so this is my text area, and I want to bring the little text area over here. And let's just say this button says OK or something. A little action. And we want to have it all lined sort of to the center of our main view. It's not really filling it all out, but it's you know into the center of main view. You notice it's not center here, but if we do go into our auto layouting, and if you remember where that's at, so let's grab the text area and we just go into our little pin area and we pin to the top. And we keep the height the same. And let's say we keep the width the same and we hit these three constraints okay now right now it's bringing this text area over here see how it's uh, this little red area well all we have to do is we want to make it center is go over here to alignment and line to center and now all of a sudden it's aligned to center in our main view here and actually if we let's just drag this over we bring up the four inch you can see no matter if we rotate it, that, that text area is always center. It's going to be always center on every device now. And we can do that with all these. So let's just go really quick through the, um, the layouting. Let's keep the height the same. Let's keep the width the same. You don't have to, but you can. Or if you want to stretch, let's say if you want to stretch this field to uh, the edges, you could do that too. But let's just for this point. Let's just do this, and let's make sure then it aligns the center again, and then the same with the button. And here, here's to show you something pretty interesting. If we wanted to put the button, like say over here, we notice it's kind of off center, but if you go over here and you say I want it this height, and you want it this width, let's say you want it like that, but if you go to the alignment over here and you say I want it to horizontal, you know, to center, and you hit that constraint. Well, it may not look that way here on our main view, but when we come over here to our little assistant editor, you'll notice, and here let's flip this around, it's always going to be the center. 
and it doesn't matter what device you have or what orientation so let's let's check them all out let's check them all out here let's go with the iPad it's gonna be kind of like uh, not filling much of the iPad space for what we did for auto layout we could have had this all kind of stretch and whatnot but we didn't go for that as you can see it does work and you can pre visualize what it's gonna kind of look like what it basically what it's gonna look like in this uh, layout thing you can't really change anything here and like I said if we do move this it doesn't matter if we we move these things or not from here because it's always going to be that way because we have set rules for these elements already so if you want to change them you have to go up here to our little measuring device and you can click on these things and you can delete them or you can edit them and that's the way you can change them and so yeah you this is a great tip that a lot of people don't know about uh, usually they go right to the simulator they're going back and forth from the simulator trying to lay things out when you can do it right here and again you just go to this little assistant editor and instead of going to your other code view right down the preview and you can view as many as you like so I hope uh, this tip helps you out when you're uh, trying to work with auto layout especially with the universal application and just trying to lay out your um, your devices your your user interface and just pre-visualize what it's going to see what you're going to see on these type of devices before you have to go to simulator before you go to your own device before you test everything out this is a really good and fast way to do it okay so I hope this might have helped you and I'll see you next time thanks